the First World War might have been 100 years ago, but to talk about why it's still relevant to kids these days, I've got Natalie here in the studio. So, Natalie, you won a big prize to do with the First World War this year, didn't you? Yeah, I won the Simpson Prize for this year, which is a national history competition. And so, uh, because of that, I got to go to Gallipoli for two weeks. Oh, and what was that like? It was very emotional uh, to walk the same routes as the soldiers did to eat bully beef, which is what they had to survive on, essentially, uh, to stand by their graves, um, reflect on, on what happened there. So it was very overwhelming. And did it change the way you thought about the First World War and Australians in it? Absolutely. Uh, we learn about it at school, and, and to me it always kind of seemed like words on a page. But to actually go there, uh, it, it brings it all to life. and. Um, and the, the other guys that I was travelling with, we would look at each other and go, I, 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 I knew that this happened, but I didn't realise that it was real. It just didn't seem like it, it actually happened. Uh, because I think part of the reason that is, is that uh, we heighten it so much with the Anzac legend and make these individuals seem uh, flawless and perfect. And, and the reality was that they, they were flawed, you know, they were, they were humans. Um, ordinary people. And so I think that when you bring it back to the individual story, you go, wow, you know, this, this was a real person. So that, that, was, that was quite devastating when you think about how many lives were, were changed because of this conflict. And do you think that there are lessons that young Australians can take from the First World War? Absolutely. When you, when you reflect on, on the disaster that the First World War was, it makes you value peace so much more. And, and we're so lucky here in Australia that we do live in a land uh, of, of where there's no you know, civil conflict and things like that. And I think it really helps you to understand what, um, from an Australian perspective, what uh, other countries go through when they are in times of war and I think it makes us value that and want to strive for peace every day. Yeah, that's great, thanks so much for being with us Natalie. Not a problem.